Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. We're going to be solving question 12 from the second chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook, Engineering Mechanics. And we have a steel tank that is to be positioned in an excavation. We know that the magnitude of the force P in here is 500 pounds. And we need to determine by trigonometry the required angle alpha in order to have the resultant of these two forces to be vertical. So our R is vertical and uh, we need to use trigonometry and the last part we have to find the magnitude of the r so we're going to use the triangle rule we basically have uh the force for 25 pounds which makes 30 degrees with horizontal we have the force p which makes angle alpha in here and our R has to be vertical. So we have a 90 degrees in here. We need to figure some angles in here. Let's start with this angle that is the easiest one since the whole angle is the right angle. Uh, we know this part is 30 degrees, so this will be 90 minus 30 or 60 degrees. So we know the force P is also 500 pounds. And this angle right here would be 30 degrees too, because we have these two. So we have these two parallel lines that this one crosses. So these two are the same, both 30 degrees. So if you want to find the other angle that we have in here, let's call the other one in here beta. We know the sum of all the angles in triangle is 180. So basically, Beta plus alpha plus 30 plus 60 degrees has to be 180 degrees since we have a triangle. So we can find beta based on alpha in here. So our beta would be 180 minus 60 minus 30 degrees minus alpha or 180 minus 90 will be 90 degrees minus alpha. So now we should be good to go if we use the law of signs in here we will have sine of beta which we found is 90 minus alpha over 425 is equal to sine of 60 degrees over 500 so now we can find the value of sine uh, the value of the sine of 90 degrees minus alpha which will be 425 times sine of 60 degrees over 500 so let's figure this out so 425 times sine of 60 divided by 500 so this is going to be 0 0.736 and basically 90 minus alpha would be sine inverse of this value. So, so sine inverse of 0 0.736, which is gonna be 47.39, or our alpha would be 90 minus 47.39, 90 minus 47.39, that's going to be 42.6 degrees and that's the angle alpha that we were looking for and if we continue our law of sines in here and put the uh, sine of alpha plus 30 in here over r we should be able to find the r so basically our r would be 500 times sine of alpha plus 30 degrees over so i'm using this part so if you cross multiply this we just have to divide this by sine of 60 degrees our alpha is 42.6 so we're just going to put that here so 500 times sine of 42.6 plus 30 Uh, we're going to divide that by sine of 60 and our r in here would be 550.9 pounds 
and that would be the answer for the B part of the question. Alpha was the A part. And that would be all for this one. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you have any questions. We are covering three different textbooks in this channel. Feel free to check out the playlist and let me know if you have any specific problem that you want me to cover in the next videos. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.